we're building here in partnership with Skanska is going to provide scientific users from universities and industry. Quite tightly, and that means it's not as big a walking as you originally thought. How many check-in counter there is? Or check in rows. The year 2025 is poised to be a defining moment in the world of large scale engineering as some of the most ambitious and expensive mega projects finally come to life. From towering skyscrapers reshaping skylines to ultra modern infrastructure transforming cities, these developments are more than just massive. They're redefining what's possible in design, innovation, and urban planning. While some projects aim to break records, Others will silently revolutionize entire sectors, leaving a lasting global impact. In Frankfurt, a striking transformation is underway. A 1.1 billion development known as For Frankfurt is nearing completion in the heart of the city's financial district. This project will introduce four sleek towers featuring residential units, corporate offices, and retail spaces. The tallest of the group will reach 233 meters, making it Germany's third tallest skyscraper. Delays push the timeline to 2025, but once finished, it's expected to raise Frankfurt's profile as a hub for global commerce and luxury living. Meanwhile in Toronto, construction continues on the One, a super-tall skyscraper that will become Canada's tallest building at 308 meters. Featuring a mix of high-end condos, a luxury hotel, and retail spaces, this $2 billion structure is designed with a futuristic tapering form and a full glass facade. Although construction was hindered by financing issues and legal disputes, work is back on track with hopes to open by late 2025. Once complete, it will redefine Toronto's iconic skyline. In the world of science, one of the most significant undertakings is the Facility for Anti-Proton and Ion Research, or FAIR, in Germany. This 2.7 billion center will provide physicists with powerful tools to study antimatter, nuclear particles, and extreme cosmic conditions. Featuring cutting-edge particle accelerators, the facility will support breakthroughs in both fundamental science and applied technologies, including cancer therapy. Upon full operation, it will host thousands of scientists and become one of the most advanced research facilities on the planet. In Kuwait, a new airport terminal is taking shape that aims to redefine regional air travel. Terminal 2 at Kuwait International Airport is a 4.3 billion expansion built to accommodate 25 million passengers annually. With striking architecture resembling waves and energy-efficient design, the terminal will operate with a heavy focus on sustainability. Solar integrated roofing, natural lighting, and advanced recycling systems are part of its lead gold ambitions. Once operational, it's expected to boost tourism and transform the airport into a regional gateway by the end of 2025. Across the Atlantic, New York City is preparing to welcome a new icon to its skyline. JP Morgan Chase's new headquarters at 270 Park Avenue will rise 423 meters, becoming one of the tallest buildings in the city. This $3 billion skyscraper will feature green terraces, energy-efficient systems, and open workspaces suited to hybrid working. With the structure already topped out, the focus is now on interiors, and doors are expected to open in 2025, signaling a new era for corporate architecture. In Saudi Arabia, the futuristic Enium initiative includes the construction of a major seaport along the Red Sea. Known as the Port of Neom, this $2 billion project is set to become a strategic logistics hub linking three continents. It will use artificial intelligence, smart tracking, and automated cranes, all powered entirely by renewable energy. With operations expected to begin in early 2025, the port is envisioned as a model for sustainable, tech-driven global trade. India is also making global waves in renewable energy with its massive Kavda Solar Park in Gujarat. Spanning an area nearly the size of Singapore, this $2 billion park will combine solar and wind power to generate 30 gigawatts, enough to power 18 million homes. It's a crucial part of India's renewable energy goals and will play a major role in reducing fossil fuel dependence. With partial operations set to begin in 2025, the project is drawing international investment and solidifying India's role in clean energy leadership. China is set to make headlines again with the world's highest bridge, the Huajiang Canyon Bridge in Guizhou Province. Suspended over 625 meters above the canyon floor, this architectural marvel will connect remote areas and cut travel time significantly. 
At 280 million, the bridge also includes tourist-friendly features such as a glass walkway, a visitor center, and the highest bungee jumping platform on Earth. Completion is expected by mid-2025, and the bridge is likely to become both a transport lifeline and a major tourist destination. On the cultural front, the UAE is preparing to open the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi, a $1 billion contemporary art museum located on Sadiat Island. Designed by world-renowned architect Frank Gehry, the structure blends futuristic design with traditional Middle Eastern elements. The museum will house significant collections from the region and beyond, aiming to become a center for global art dialogue. With its 2025 opening, it will further establish Abu Dhabi as a leader in cultural tourism and artistic innovation. These projects, diverse in scope and location, represent a bold vision for the future. They combine cutting-edge technology, sustainability, and human creativity in ways the world has never seen before. As these mega-projects finally come to life in 2025, they're not just changing skylines, they're rewriting what's possible for our cities, industries, and collective imagination. Set to become one of the world's most advanced research centers, the European Spallation Source, ESS, in Lund, Sweden, represents a 1.9 billion leap forward in neutron science. This high-tech facility will generate intense neutron beams using a state-of-the-art accelerator, allowing scientists to study the structure of materials down to atomic detail. With collaboration from 13 European nations, the ESS is expected to accelerate progress across multiple fields, from material science and chemistry to biology, medicine, and energy storage. Despite facing delays due to funding and logistical issues, testing is on schedule to begin in 2025. Once operational, the ESS will not only strengthen Europe's position in scientific research, but also play a role in solving real-world problems, such as carbon capture and advanced drug development. In India, a major expansion in air travel infrastructure is taking shape. The Navi Mumbai International Airport, a $2 billion development, is designed to alleviate the burden on the existing Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, one of the busiest single runway airports in the world. Situated south of Mumbai, this modern airport will initially handle 2-5 million passengers annually, with long-term expansion plans to reach 90 million by 2032. It will be seamlessly connected to Mumbai's transportation network, and built with sustainability at its core, featuring rainwater harvesting, solar power systems, and green certified infrastructure. Though slowed by land acquisition hurdles and environmental concerns, construction progress has picked up and remains aligned with a 2025 opening. In Bahrain, a major transformation in public transport is underway. The $2 billion light rail network will introduce two elevated lines covering over 30 kilometers across Manama and surrounding areas. Designed to reduce traffic congestion and promote cleaner urban mobility, the fully automated and driverless system will serve over 200,000 commuters each day. The first phase will improve connectivity between business hubs, residential districts, and tourist hotspots. Future expansions plan to link with the Gulf Railway Network, strengthening cross-border access with neighboring countries. While delayed during early stages, the project is on course for a 2025 launch, aiming to boost foreign investment and reshape Bahrain's reputation as a modern, sustainable destination. Along Saudi Arabia's Red Sea coast, Shura Island is rising as a 3.7 billion luxury destination and the central node of the Red Sea project. Naturally shaped like a dolphin, this island will feature 11 world-class resorts, an exclusive marina, fine dining, and wellness retreats. Located near the Red Sea International Airport, it will serve as a gateway for premium global tourism. The development prioritizes environmental harmony, running entirely on renewable energy sources like solar and wind, with protective measures for marine life and coral ecosystems. Shura Island is expected to redefine luxury travel in the Middle East by blending sustainability with opulence and is targeting completion by the end of 2025. Just up the coast, another landmark is emerging. Amala, a $5 billion mega-development on the Red Sea, is being marketed as the Middle East's answer to the Riviera. Focused on wellness, health, and culture, the project includes ultra-luxury resorts, cultural centers, and holistic retreats designed for high-net-worth individuals. 
It also aims to operate on 100% clean energy while enforcing strict zero-waste policies. Though progress has been challenged by funding and logistical concerns, partial operations are expected by 2025. Amala is not only set to elevate Saudi Arabia's luxury tourism profile, but also generate jobs and contribute to the national economy. Brisbane's skyline is being reimagined through the 2.3 billion Queen's Wharf project. With four towers rising along the waterfront, this mixed-use development will include luxury apartments, five-star hotels, a massive casino complex, retail centers, and entertainment venues. A major attraction will be the Sky Deck, an elevated platform offering sweeping views of the city. Integrated with pedestrian walkways and public transport, the development is being designed to enhance urban accessibility. Despite pandemic-related delays, Queen's Wharf is on schedule for a grand 2025 debut, expected to drive economic growth and position Brisbane as a premier lifestyle and tourism hub in Australia. Connecting the U.S. and Canada in a bold new way, the Gordie Howe International Bridge is a 4.5 billion infrastructure marvel linking Detroit and Windsor. Designed to handle both commercial and passenger traffic, the 2.5-kilometer Cable State Bridge includes dedicated lanes for trucks, pedestrians, and cyclists. It will streamline trade flow across the border, relieving pressure on the aging Ambassador Bridge and ensuring more efficient customs processing. Construction started in 2018, and despite COVID-related setbacks, the bridge is expected to be completed in 2025. It will provide a vital corridor for trade and logistics while boosting job creation on both sides of the border. In Iraq, a bold initiative is unfolding to transform the country into a key player in global shipping. The al Faw Grand Port, a $5 billion project along the Persian Gulf, will become one of the region's largest ports, capable of handling 100 million tons of cargo each year. A unique feature is its record-breaking 14.5-kilometer breakwater, which will safeguard port operations from sea disruptions. The port will accommodate some of the world's biggest ships and is tied into the planned Iraq-Europe transport corridor, offering a new route that bypasses the Suez Canal. Phase 1 is scheduled for completion in 2025, expected to revitalize Iraq's economy and position it as a strategic trade hub. Meanwhile, Australia is investing heavily in rail infrastructure with the 8.6 billion Melbourne Metro Tunnel. This major public transit project includes twin 9-kilometer tunnels under the Central Business District and five new underground stations – Arden, Parkville, State Library, Town Hall, and Anzac. By separating metro services from the suburban lines, the project will significantly reduce congestion and increase network efficiency. The stations are designed to be fully accessible and future-ready. Construction is well advanced, and service rollout is anticipated in 2025, promising to reshape how commuters move through one of Australia's fastest-growing cities. In 2025, the world will witness the completion of several transformative infrastructure projects that promise to reshape cities, economies, and entire regions. These developments are not only engineering feats, but also symbols of global ambition, sustainability, and modernization. Melbourne is advancing toward a smarter, more connected transport future. With faster train services, integrated tram and bus systems, and expanded cycling paths, the city is building a seamless public transit network. Initially expected to launch in 2026, the project has accelerated and is now set for 2025. Once operational, it will boost the rail network's capacity by 60%, cut travel times, and meet the demands of a growing urban population. Beyond enhancing commuter convenience, it serves as a flagship model for sustainable infrastructure in Australia, reducing congestion and urban emissions. Meanwhile, in Canada, the 28 billion LNG Canada facility in Kitimat, British Columbia, is preparing for its first exports. This liquefied natural gas terminal, the largest private investment in the country's history, is strategically positioned to supply Asian markets with a cleaner alternative to coal. Initially capable of producing 14 million metric tons per year, it has plans to double that capacity. The facility's use of low-carbon technology and hydroelectric power makes it one of the most environmentally responsible LNG operations globally. Despite earlier construction hurdles and rising costs, it remains on schedule for a 2025 launch. 
Its completion will drive job creation, enhance export potential, and strengthen Canada's energy partnerships with Asia. In Saudi Arabia, the city of Jeddah is undertaking a major urban overhaul with its $16 billion metro system. Designed to support Vision 2030, the system spans 160 kilometers with 81 stations across four lines. It will integrate light rail, bus rapid transit, and a coastal water bus service, significantly increasing public transport usage from 2% to 30%. With features such as autonomous trains, smart ticketing, and energy-efficient stations, the metro is poised to become one of the region's most advanced transport systems. Delays due to shifting priorities and funding constraints have been overcome, and the network is set to begin operations in 2025 promising greater mobility, reduced emissions, and a more vibrant local economy. China continues to dominate the skyline with three new super-tall skyscrapers nearing completion. The International Land Sea Center in Chongqing will stand at 458 meters, making it one of the tallest buildings globally and solidifying the city's reputation as a financial hub. Wuhan's Great River Center, reaching 400 meters, is set to support the city's booming finance and tech sectors. Meanwhile, in Shenzhen, the China Merchants Bank Tower will rise to 393 meters, providing a headquarters for one of the country's largest financial institutions. These towers are not just architectural statements. They symbolize China's rapid urbanization and dominance in high-rise construction, reinforcing its role as a global economic powerhouse. Riyadh's 23 billion metro project is also nearing the finish line. With six driverless lines covering 176 kilometers and 85 stations, it represents the largest urban rail system in the Middle East. Built to ease traffic congestion and reduce emissions, it aligns closely with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. Smart stations, gold-class cabins, and integration with bus systems aim to offer a premium, eco-friendly commuting experience. Though originally planned to launch in 2023, delays caused by the pandemic have shifted the target to 2025. Once operational, it is expected to revolutionize daily travel in Riyadh and stimulate economic and tourism growth. In downtown Toronto, the Sky Tower at Pinnacle One Yong is redefining luxury living. At 344 meters, it will be Canada's tallest residential tower and one of the tallest in North America. The 1.5 billion development features luxury condos with smart home technology, high-end amenities like infinity pools and fitness centers, and proximity to key city landmarks such as Union Station and the waterfront. Construction began in 2020 and is progressing steadily toward a late 2025 completion. Once finished, it will attract global investors and elevate Toronto's standing as a premier urban center. Indonesia is also pushing boundaries with its Trans-Sumatra Toll Road, a 32 billion mega highway stretching 2,700 kilometers from Lampung in the south to Aceh in the north. With over 1,000 kilometers already completed, the project is set to be finished by 2025. It promises to drastically reduce transport times, improve logistics efficiency, and connect industrial zones, ports, and tourist hotspots like Lake Toba. This vast network will not only boost regional economies, but also draw foreign investment and uplift millions of Indonesians through job creation and improve mobility. Topping the list of game-changing projects is the Bangabandhu Railway Bridge in Bangladesh. Costing $1.7 billion, this 4.8-kilometer dual-gauge bridge over the Jamuna River will double the country's rail capacity and significantly reduce travel times. Funded by both the Bangladeshi government and the Asian Development Bank, the bridge will enhance domestic and regional trade with India and Nepal. Scheduled for completion in late 2025, it represents a key upgrade to South Asia's transport infrastructure and a vital link in the region's economic integration. These megaprojects are not just about scale, they are about reimagining the future. They offer smarter cities, cleaner energy, improved connectivity, and stronger economies. Each one, in its own way, reflects a vision of progress that will shape the world for decades to come. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more groundbreaking updates. Tell us which project impressed you the most. We'd love to hear your thoughts.